Oh, y'all thought y'all didn't have me today, huh? Well, well, you're wrong. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> um, can't say good morning. So good afternoon. Good evening. <laughs> Everybody, it's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you're listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. It is September the 14th, 2024, and today the topic is give it to Jesus give it to Jesus. Happy Saturday. Yes, happy Saturday, everybody. I hope you guys had a fabulous Friday. Mine was just fine. Yes, mine was good. Overall, highlights from yesterday is um, we got done with NJ's assignments. And after that, um, I owed him some ice cream. So I told him I was going to take him out to lunch. Um, and we also went thrifting. So that was nice as well. So we went thrifting. Um, got some lunch, got his ice cream, came on back home. I had a meeting with my business coach. And that pretty much was my Friday in a nutshell. Um, I, now my, <laughs> my husband had to go out of town um, last night, and I didn't know that. So it, got, it was getting later and later, and I was like, so, uh... <laughs> um, he was like, oh, you don't remember me telling you this morning? I'm like, no, nah, bro, no, nah, I don't. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so, so that was interesting, you know, having a night without him and everything like that but um he's back he's back now so yay <laughs> um and also we started off our morning i mean i was up early uh probably at the sound of my alarm i listened to the prayer meditation a couple of times but i don't know i just was not i didn't feel led to do the juice this morning and so we ended up going to nj's best friend's birthday party um so we did that and whatnot got back home um, and just when I was thinking that, you know, maybe I ain't got no juice today. <laughs> well, one, um, uh, shout out to Miss Amber K. Star. Y'all may have, um, well, y'all might have seen her before on our platform. Um, she commented on, I think yesterday's juice and whatnot. And, um, this thing, I know I received the juice. So, I mean, hey, you know, I'm here. <laughs> um, it may be late, but she getting it. And y'all can let me know how y'all feel. Y'all like these uh, spirit-led juices? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or do y'all prefer when I was, uh, you know, not say forcing myself to do it before six, but yeah, like when I was being more intentional about like getting it out before six. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. Um, we'll see, um, you know, again, what the Lord do. But um, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for everything. Um you know, I was thinking about a lot of different things. And uh, I know at some point I was like, man, is, is this my life, man? <laughs> you know, um, quote unquote, stay at home mom. Oh, quote unquote, um, you know, learning coach, working at the church, doing ministry online. Like this, this is my life, man. This is my life. And um, not to say that I didn't picture it or something. Um. But maybe I didn't. I, I don't know what I was expecting um, my life to look like or be. Um, but I'm grateful, man. I'm grateful for, again, where I am and everything like that. But so anyway, I'm just letting y'all know that. So I took some time to reflect on that this morning um, at some point. And um, I'm trying to think, like, what inspired this juice other than the, the phrase, cast um, your cares. Um, now, I know that's one of the quotes that we usually say every, um, pretty much every morning with NJ. It's in his uh, little affirmations wall situation where he's making these declarations. And one of them is, I cast my cares on Jesus because he cares for me um, <laughs> and everything. Um, so that came into my heart and mind. And then as I was thinking about that, then I went deeper. I went and plugged that phrase into uh open bible.info and that's where you know i got my verses and whatnot from but um yeah i i guess something about that just was standing out and um you know who knows maybe it could be uh just recognizing my own issues that i've been having i mean i think i've been sharing it with you guys over the past few months and whatnot how you know i've been concerned about this and concerned about that and and wondering this and wondering that and, and different things like that. And even, even the times I, I, I feel at peace, even though I don't know everything. Right. But then at the same time too, not knowing can still bother me. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
you know, I know I even took some time to think about, again, the business coaching, how our interactions have gone. And I hate that I am at this point now where um, I'm so guarded, right? Um, and I know it's because, you know, unfortunately people before him have come into my life or whatever. And it just seems like whether it whether I'm on the helping end or if they're trying to, quote unquote, help me, it seems like both ends um, has affected me in some way negatively. Um, now, don't get me wrong, there's uh, plenty of people in my life that, you know, again, we help each other, um, you know, again, feelings are mutual, and I haven't had no issues, but the ones that I have had issues with, it, you know, it, it, I think, has skewed my, my thinking in some ways, where maybe I used to be more open or more positive or whatever the case may be, and now I'm more defensive and more, like, hesitant and stuff like that, Um so I did, I was taking time to think about that this morning as well. And I thought about like just addressing that with him and just saying, hey man, look, I just want to let you know where I'm coming from and like, you know, uh, and just face this thing head on by you versus like keep coming to the meetings and, you know, being on guard and whatnot. Um, but then again, maybe he's not feeling it on his end, but I feel he might. And so I don't know, we're going to figure me out, right? I'm going to figure out what the Lord want me to do about my stuff, but hopefully this conversation today will encourage you and inspire you to cast your ears on Jesus. Um, you know, just give it all over to him, whatever it may be, fill in your blank with it, <laughs> whatever it is, um, give it to God, um, give it to Jesus. Um, I mean, on one hand, I, I get how like that can seem so, I don't even know how to explain how that could feel like, t I don't know how people feel when they hear that. I know sometimes, now I'm in a place where I think I, I can get encouraged and inspired by hearing that, but, you know, I also can understand how some people may say, again, when people tell you to pray, right, or when people tell you to give it to Jesus, it's kind of like, maybe some people may feel like that's dismissive, um, but I'm learning, right, at least in my own life, again, the more I bring my thoughts to the Lord, bring whatever it is to him and say, Hey Lord, you know, this already, you know what I mean? And Hey Lord, this is, let me give you this. Cause I can't do nothing else with it. Or, you know, the more I do that, the more again, at peace I am. And so, you know, here I am, you know, just saying, Hey, you know, living witness here, I get it. It can sound dismissive. It can sound like, Ugh, you're just trying to tell me to pray. Ugh, you just you're not giving me no practical advice or whatever people can say. But, um, yeah, I mean, but it's the best thing that you can do. Um, whether you believe that or not, that's up to you. <laughs> but what I find uh, thus far in my life is that, again, as I give those things over to him, it's the best thing that I can do. Um, again, not only because it free, it, well, maybe, maybe that, maybe that's something that frees you, right? There's a freedom and a release that happens when you give that thing over to him, whatever it is, right? Um, giving it over to him gives us that peace that surpasses all understanding. Let me give you guys Bible because y'all could think I'm just out here talking. So, uh, these little verses that were standing out to me to share. Uh, 1 Peter 5, 6 and 7. It says, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Um, there were quite a few verses that were talking about, you know, casting your cares or casting things on God. Um, you guys can go look those up and, you know, peruse them and let them marinate on your hearts, souls, and minds. Uh, but this one this morning, I guess what's standing out to me the most, um, probably was the humbling ourselves part. Um, yeah, and then obviously the casting all your anxieties on him, um, uh, because he cares for you. At the end of the day, he truly, truly cares and loves us regardless of us right um in spite of us and I, I get how that can be difficult to receive sometimes because it's like well I don't deserve it or um I didn't do good or I gotta do something to receive good right I think <laughs> um I'm noticing that I'm I'm struggling in this area apparently where you know um receiving good things for some reason and I don't know why but I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm, I'm having trouble with receiving good things, I think, um, at least these days. Like, 
wondering if there's some motive, right? Or wondering if there's some other thing, you know, behind the scenes or whatever. I don't know what it is that's in my heart and mind that's trying to, you know, make me feel some way about receiving good um, out of nowhere, right? Um, but hey, I guess I need to start rebuking that in the name of Jesus because at the end of the day, again, we are blessed and highly favored and I'm, I'm proclaiming that over my life, my, my family's life, you know, my friends, my son, like everybody. And so my thing is like, you know, when the good things happen and it's going and flowing, I shouldn't be surprised. And, and sometimes I'm not, you know, but then sometimes too, it'd be like, I guess when it deals with other people, like if it's a direct thing with, but God just be working and it's just one of those things. It's weird, man. Cause I. This is a weird, weird confession right now. Because it's like, on one hand, I know I come over here almost every day and tell y'all about, again, the blessings of the Lord and and the great, amazing things that God is doing with me, for me, and through me, right? But then, at the same time, I'm telling y'all that I'm having difficulties receiving it, too. <laughs> and it's, it's it's a weird place to be in, you know? Because, um, again, that, you know, I don't know if I could say a reason why. You know, maybe this is something in therapy I need to talk about. Like, why am I having a hard time receiving good things? Or why am I having a hard time, like, just accepting it and, or, you know, not judging it or not, like, doubting it or things like that. Um, and don't get me wrong. Like I said, I know I joke sometimes about the situation with me and my husband. And it was like, oh, when's the other foot going to drop? When the other shoe, you know, that type of thing. And it's been, what, almost 10 years together uh, almost eight years of marriage, like, I mean, if the shoe ain't dropped yet, like, I mean, you know, and I know I joke a lot with my, my brother from another mother, I be like, look, you know, when you gonna switch up on me, when you gonna, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> when you gonna go ghost me, and, and things like that, and, and it's been over 10 years of friendship with him, so, I mean, you know, I don't know, <laughs> uh, maybe it's just something I'm just, I don't know if it's keeping an open mind or staying on guard or just being like, just in case, you know, who knows, who knows. But hey, at least y'all know I'm human out here and, you know, we all have our own struggles and things of that nature. But guess what? We can give those concerns, anxieties, fears, anything. Give it to Jesus. Let me go ahead and give you guys another verse. Uh, John 16 and 33, it says, I have said these things. No, wait. No, let me go back to uh, Matthew, sorry. Matthew 11 and 28. It says, come to me, all you who labor, uh, or all who labor, and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So, again, if this is you, y'all, in any capacity, you know, you're out here working, heavy laden, he's going to give us the rest. Again, cast your cares on Jesus. Uh, give it to him. Um I ain't got too much to say about that. So maybe that's the reason why I was almost about to skip that verse. But let me go ahead and give you the, the next one. Um, again, John 16 and 33. It says, I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But take heart. I have overcome the world. Um. So there was quite a few things that um, are on my heart and mind when I was uh, writing that verse down to well, <laughs> just a few minutes ago. <laughs> um, basically, well, one of the things was that, um, again, one, he already told about us about these things ahead of time. Again, I know that we take issue with the suffering of the world, right? We take issue with, you know, again, the issues of life. Um, but he told us that there's going to be issues. He told us there's going to be trouble. He told us that there's going to be tribulations. Um, he told us that the people did it to him. They're going to do it to us. So we already know, right, um, about these things. And so, again, we should not be surprised, right? And we shouldn't act surprised um, when we go through those trials and tribulations. Um, but he also told us that, hey, he has overcome it. And so, um, you know, I, I've gone through things and, and still have peace, love, joy, and the fruit of the Spirit um, in spite of the craziness, right, in spite of the different issues of life. Um, but one of those things, this may be a little dark, but bless me <laughs> um but one of the things that um uh, crossed my mind as i was writing down verses earlier is that um like what's the worst thing that can happen to us like what's the worst thing that we think about i think that's death right 
And um, no, we know that there are worse things than death. Shout out to Allie, because that's one of her quotes. Um, you know, and we get that, you know, there's all kinds of evils in the world and people are torturing people and doing all kinds of crazy things. And that's those things can be worse than death because you're living through it. Um, however, like if we take death, right, or even though whatever your trial and tribulation is, right, um, we know that Jesus conquered that. And so, um, now, I mean, we can go deeper, right? We can, you know, seek the Lord for more understanding. And if it's his will, maybe perhaps he will probably share more in regards to, you know, helping us to understand that, again, the trials and tribulations and, you know, even death and all these different things. Like, if death was never his will and he had, to, you know, he went to conquer it for us and different, different things like that you know, going through that process of death and whatnot. Um, not to say why, but, you know, I'm sure we all have our own questions about that. Um, but basically all I'm saying is that I was thinking about that and, and knowing that Jesus conquered that uh, was encouraging to me. It was encouraging and inspiring. I mean, if, he, if God wanted to, you know, me to be raised back up or whatever the case may be after I pass away, he can do that, you know, or if you want me to just stay on the, on the side where he at, that's cool too, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, knowing that God is capable of any and everything uh, was encouraging and inspiring to me as I was writing these verses down. So, just something else to think about, y'all. Again, anything you may be going through, anxiety, fear, uh, anything, give it to Jesus, y'all. Give it to Jesus. I think that was pretty much the last verse that I felt led to write down in regards to this. Let me go ahead and give you guys the Bible verse of today. And that is Psalm 18 and 2. It says, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust. My... Go check that word because I don't want to say it wrong. I think it's Babeler, but... I might have wrote that wrong. So my something. So look that up. And the horn of my salvation and my light tower. Friends, I hope you guys enjoyed this juice this evening. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all on Monday, if the Lord's will. Bye-bye. <laughs>